We have to be honest here. Tesla isn't offering this chance to everyone. The pre-orders for the Model 2 are being tightly limited by region. Based on what we've learned from people inside the company, once the quota is filled, orders will close without any notice. So how can someone order the Tesla Model 2? How many pre-orders will there be? And why has Elon Musk remained so silent this time? The excitement surrounding this car has grown rapidly, mainly because of Elon Musk's bold claims. One of those claims is that this vehicle is being built on the most advanced production line ever created, using massive manufacturing power and new technologies that were once thought impossible to include in an affordable car. But after several plan changes, pauses, and restarts, we're finally seeing a huge shift. With new confirmations from both Elon Musk and Tesla, it's now clear that the project is fully in motion. The 15 9 by 90 vehicle has officially entered production at the Fremont factory. That explains why it's been spotted several times in camouflage during testing around the site. One reason we have to wait until November for the official reveal is because the car still needs to finish its last phase of testing by using Tesla's existing Model 3 and Model Y production lines and advanced GigaPress casting technology, the company is aiming for an impressive output of up to 10,000 units per week once mass production ramps up later this year. This simplified and vertically integrated production process allows Tesla to reach the scale needed to support the Model 2's aggressive $15,990 starting price. During Tesla's second quarter 2025 earnings call, Elon Musk confirmed that the new affordable model is basically a smaller version of the Model Y, redesigned to cut costs through simpler materials, fewer premium features, and by using existing manufacturing systems. According to both company sources and Musk himself, Tesla plans to open orders in the third quarter of 2025 and begin first deliveries around November or early in the fourth quarter. The timing helps Tesla take advantage of expiring tax credits and capture strong demand from customers waiting for an affordable EV. The competition between Tesla and BYD has become fierce in 2025, as both companies fight to prove they're the top player in the electric car market. BYD has already introduced vehicles priced as low as $10,000, and their revenue this year is once again higher than Tesla's, just as it was in 2023. In that context, Tesla's once highly anticipated $25,000 model no longer looks like a game changer, since it's still too expensive for many budget-conscious buyers. That's likely what pushed Elon Musk to raise the stakes even higher. The new base version of the Model 2 with rear-wheel drive is set to start at only $15,990, which shocked nearly everyone. While that may be enough for buyers who want a simple, practical car, it might not satisfy those used to the premium feel Tesla usually offers. The car is expected to be officially revealed in the fourth quarter, around November, coinciding with Tesla's annual shareholder meeting. Let's take a closer look at how Tesla made this low-cost EV possible, what it gets right, what's missing, and whether it truly balances cost with quality. Whether you've followed Tesla for months or for years, you've likely noticed that the idea of an affordable Tesla has always captured public attention, and it's easy to understand why. People are curious how a company known for luxury electric cars can make one that almost anyone can afford. Based on Tesla Insiders, the Model 2 won't be a hatchback as many assumed earlier. Instead, it's being designed as a compact crossover that keeps Tesla's minimalist style. The design focuses on clean shapes and smooth details to create a modern, recognizable appearance. It's simple, but simplicity done right. Tesla's approach is straightforward. Clean exterior lines, soft curves and trademark features that make it instantly identifiable as a Tesla. Even without fancy design elements, the car still looks attractive and far from plain. It stands out because it doesn't try too hard. At around 20% smaller than the Model 3, the Model 2 has been engineered for maximum cost efficiency, crucial for achieving its low price target. You can expect familiar design cues like a continuous rear light bar, smooth aerodynamic wheels, and a rear section resembling that of the Model 3. However, this model will likely stick with a traditional four-door layout rather than any unusual door setup. Inside, the car is meant to balance practicality and affordability. The cabin will be compact, but can seat five comfortably, prioritizing essential comfort over luxury. You shouldn't expect fancy materials or high-end features. That's not the goal here. 
The dashboard doors and trim pieces are expected to be made from simple, durable materials. Instead of the larger 15.4-inch screen found in the Model 3, this one might feature a smaller 12-inch display, along with unventilated seats and more affordable finishes. These choices might make it feel less premium, but that's intentional. These are the trade-offs needed to keep the cost down. Some buyers may feel disappointed about the lack of premium details, but the Model 2 isn't meant for luxury seekers. It's designed to fulfill a larger purpose, to make EVs available to more people. Elon Musk has long said he wants to create an affordable electric car for the general public, and the Model 2 is the result of that dream. If expectations don't match that goal, the project could even be at risk. To keep prices low, Tesla will probably skip rear seat screens, mood lighting, or many physical buttons. The company will continue its software-first philosophy, moving most controls to the main touchscreen. This allows Tesla to keep improving the car through over-the-air updates, one of its biggest strengths. That said, the Model 2 will still feature some major upgrades. One of the most important will be its 48-volt electrical system, something Tesla has hinted at for future cars. This new setup will improve energy efficiency and reduce weight. Another big topic is the rumor that the Model 2 might use aluminum ion batteries. Tesla might be leading another battery revolution, and this time, it could come with this car. Aluminum ion batteries work similarly to lithium ion batteries, but use aluminum ions instead. They contain an aluminum based anode, a special cathode made from graphene or metal oxides, and a liquid electrolyte for ion movement. The real power lies in the chemistry. Aluminum ions carry three positive charges instead of one, which means they can move more energy per ion. This gives aluminum ion batteries much higher potential energy density without the need for rare, expensive materials. Reports suggest Tesla's aluminum ion cells could reach energy densities of more than 700 watt-hours per kilogram, a massive leap compared to current lithium-ion cells. If this tech becomes commercial, a Tesla could potentially travel 700 to 1,000 miles on a single charge. Even a realistic figure of 600 to 700 miles would be game-changing. For comparison, today's Model 3 Long Range offers about 346 miles per charge. The improvement is staggering. Lithium-ion batteries have served the industry well but are now nearing their limits. Even Tesla's 4680 cells reach only about 275 watt-hours per kilogram, impressive but not revolutionary. Aluminum ion cells could change that, unlike the 4680 cells, which are currently used only in expensive vehicles like the Cybertruck. Aluminum ion batteries are being developed for affordability and scalability, making them a perfect fit for the Model 2. Even after accounting for extra weight from cooling and wiring, the range potential remains far beyond today's standards. Tesla's design expertise in lightweight packs could preserve much of that benefit. Even if the Model 2 doesn't reach 1,000 miles, offering 600 to 700 miles for under $16,000 would completely reset consumer expectations for affordable. EVs, while Tesla's high-end batteries remain reserved for premium models, the Model 2 focuses on value and practicality. Tesla's master plan mentioned a 53 kilowatt-hour battery pack for this model, likely offering around 250 miles of range in the base version. A longer range variant might push that up to 280 miles. Priced closer to $28,000, $30,000, the smaller size and lighter weight, about 30% less than the Model Y, improve efficiency further. The new batteries will also support faster charging, reaching 80% in about 10 minutes under ideal conditions. Even in real life, a 20-minute charge would outperform nearly all rivals at this price. Still, the 15,990 price seems almost too good to last. Rising tariffs, inflation, and supply chain costs are already putting pressure on Tesla's margins, which dropped to 16.3% in early 2025. Tesla has chosen to sacrifice short-term profit for long-term dominance. But global trade tensions could challenge the low price. Tariffs on imported parts could add $2,000 to $3,000 per vehicle. To fight that, Tesla is shifting toward local production, including a new battery plant in Michigan by 2026. Competition from China's BYD also adds pressure, as they continue to sell EVs for around $10,000. Still, 
Tesla relies on its strong brand, trust, and advanced technology like full self-driving to maintain its edge in Western markets. U.S. battery production remains expensive compared to China, so even with local supply chains, Tesla may eventually raise prices to around $18,000 or $20,000. However, Tesla's strong cash position, more than $36 billion, gives it room to absorb temporary losses and keep the Model 2 at $15,990 for at least the first year after launch, possibly up to mid-2027. So, if the Tesla Model 2 stays at this price for a short time, would you take the chance to switch to an EV? Subscribe so you don't miss Tesla's next.